Hey, what's up guys? I'm Justin Johnson, and uh, I want to share with you, first of all, 10 of my favorite tunings for slide guitar. These are both open tunings. Some of them are hybrid tunings, like tunings that are, you know, maybe a, a half standard, half open. And then some great drop tunings too, where you're basically taking standard tuning and you're only changing one string, but it really opens up a lot of patterns and makes slide playing a lot easier for you. When I first started playing slide guitar, I was kind of stubborn about it and I sort of insisted that I'm gonna learn how to play slide guitar in standard tuning. And really I think it was mainly that I was sort of afraid to learn open tunings because I was already comfortable with the patterns on the fretboard that came with standard tuning. And I didn't want to have to kind of, I felt like I was starting from scratch, you know, if I'm doing alternate tunings and then it was going to take longer. Once I started learning open tunings, I realized I couldn't have been more wrong about that. Open tunings uh, are very easy and a lot of times it makes guitar playing in general much easier to play. Um, it gives you options for how to play with the slide with, with just, you know, basically you're playing with one finger. So when you're playing with that, it, it kind of puts these patterns conveniently under one finger, which does a lot of the work for you. And it just increases the musicality of what you're doing on the slide, you know, when you're doing it that way. So let's get into it. So the first tuning I'm going to tell you about is going to be this open G tuning. And I'm going to go string by string so that you can hear the notes and I'm going to tell you what the notes are. Open G is probably my favorite open tuning for slide guitar. Um, I started learning open G because a lot of Robert Johnson songs, a lot of Delta Blues songs were tuned to open G. What I like about it is basically, you know, you start from standard tuning and you basically tune the low E down a whole step, the A down a whole step, and then the high E down a whole step. Other than that, the D, G, and B strings stay in standard, but you have this nice G major chord when you strum all the strings open. So when you lower those strings uh, down a whole step, it does a couple things. One thing is it makes the strings a little bit looser, so they sound a little swampier. I really like that kind of vibe. But um, if you have really thin strings, really low gauge strings, that can make them a little hard to play slide with, you know, because when you're playing the slide, you're pushing down on the strings, you want something pushing back up against the slide. And if you have small strings, and you lower the tension on them by tuning them down, it can become a little bit harder to play. But the sound, to me, is a little bit better, a little bit swampier, a little bit bluesier. And so here's a sample, a little Delta Blues style playing of what Open G sounds like. So you can see and you can hear that you can do a lot uh, with that tuning. What's great, it has the root note, G. That's uh, on the A string, basically there, the fifth string. But you can also go even lower in pitch than that. You can go all the way down to that D, which is the fifth in the key of G. So, you know, it's cool because you can do these bass riffs. And the lowest note isn't the root note, it's the fifth. So you can start at the fifth, maybe and come up. Or when you go to that five chord. Gives you a lot of uh, bass line options. Uh, that's, that's the thing I like about open G. So there's some really cool things about open G. And uh, let's go to open A tuning next. So before I tune to open A, um, basically open A is the exact same as open G, only every single string is tuned up a whole step. So here's what open G sounds like. 
And here's what open A sounds like. So you might be wondering, why do you, you know, basically have the same tuning, but maybe tune it down a whole step for open G, up a whole step for open A? Why not just play either open A or open G all the time? And there's a few reasons for that. One is, like I said before, if you tune down to open G, the strings get a little looser, it's lower in pitch, it feels a little bit different when you play it. And I, I personally prefer, prefer open G tuning when I want to get like a swampy vibe, when I want it to sound a little bluesier. When you tune up to open A, the strings get tighter. And it, if you have thin strings, it makes it a little easier to play slide. When you're playing on something like, um, you know, an acoustic here, it, it just gets a nice, like, um, tight feel to it. And you hit the strings and they're tight and they kind of push back. Um, it just gives you more of what I would consider a folkier or bluegrassy feel to the strings than like a bluesy feel, which can be really great. Also, of course, if you're a singer or if you're playing with a singer, sometimes you might have a song that the singer sings better in G or sings better in A. Or if you want to use these tunings, you might want to put a capo on it and move it to whatever tuning you want or whatever key you want. But what's really cool about it, though, is that if you learn either open A or open G and you learn the patterns, you learn riffs, um, you can easily move between the two and then decide which you like better because basically you'd be playing the exact same thing. So if you learn the patterns in open A, you can move them to open G. So here's what open A sounds like. Okay, so we got open G, open A, like I said, basically the same thing, just a whole step apart. Now let's go to another one of my favorite tunings, open D tuning, which is going to be to a D major chord. So open D is another great tuning for blues especially, but it's really versatile across the board. And one of the ways I like to check the tuning um, is uh, you can hit those open strings and you can actually play the beginning of the Star Spangled Banner. Basically spells out a D major chord. And um, the difference, the main difference between the way that the notes are arranged in an open D style tuning compared to how we were just uh, playing in open G and open A is that the root note, in this case D, is on both the bottom, like the lowest string, that low E is basically now a low D. And the same note is on the high E string, which is now a high D string. So what's great about it, you have the root note at the bottom of the frequency range and at the top of the frequency range, which gives you a lot of different tonal options. The notes in between are actually a lot like open G and open A tuning as far as the way they're arranged, only you can't go lower or higher than the root note when it comes to those open strings. So it's another great tuning for uh, blues music. Uh, let me give you an example here. This is what open D sounds like.
And as you can see, that's kind of like an Elmore James sort of riff. And that's again, you can only hit that when that root note is on that highest pitch string. It still gives you a lot of those bluesy double stops, which are like basically, you know, two strings in a row. But what's also cool about open D, just like open G tuning, is you're tuning down from standard, not up. So the strings get a little loose and they get a little swampy, which I like again. But again, like I said before, um, that can make it difficult to play slide if you have um, small strings on it. If you got thick strings, big strings, like acoustic strings on this guitar are nice and thick, doesn't, doesn't make it that difficult to play slide. But if you want the string tension to be tighter, and you want to move this same tuning up, you go to open E tuning. So I just tuned all of those strings up a whole step, and so now I have open E tuning. And just like how when you tune open G up to open A, you can play all the same patterns, um, it's just a different frequency, different pitch, it's the same thing when you go from open D to open E. Same thing, same patterns, just one whole step higher. So here is open E tuning. And so again, now the strings feel a little bit tighter. They're actually a little bit easier to play with the slide because there's more tension pushing back against the slide, but you don't get quite as much of that like bluesy swampy tone. It's, it's a little more punchy, it's a little more forward. And um, you know, these open E and open D tunings are great if you wanna play like a lot of that kind of Elmore James, uh, ZZ Top, Allman Brothers, like Derek Trucks. Um, all those players are really known for using a lot in that open D, open E category of tunings. So, so far we've done uh, open G, open A, open D, open E. These are all major chords, so they're all tuning to like a major harmony. Um, one of the things I love to do, especially when I'm playing like something that's wanting to sound a little more ominous, a little more swampy, is to tune to a minor tuning. And so, like I'm in open E right now, open E major, but one of my favorite tunings that's a minor tuning is open E minor. And it's really only one note difference. It's uh, this G string right here, which is now a G sharp. I'm gonna tune it down to a G. So that one string difference makes an enormous difference when it comes to the, uh, not the patterns you play necessarily, because you're only changing the patterns on one string, but the harmony of the whole song changes, whatever you're playing. Now it sounds a lot creepier and a lot more uh, ominous. So listen to this. So you can like a like big difference automatically uh, with the emotion of what it sounds like when you're playing. So again, this is open E minor. Let me go note by note through this tuning for you. Like I said, I love this tuning for sounding swampy, and so um, let me give you a little example of what I'm talking about with this one.
So as you can see, it sounds a lot creepier, a lot more uh, ominous. Um, and what I also like is if you're familiar, let's say you're used to playing standard tuning and you're starting to experiment with open tunings, open E minor is a great sort of gateway tuning to get you used to playing with some of the open tunings, but also keeping a lot of your standard tuning patterns. Because when you think about it, you know, standard tuning is uh, E, A, D, G, B, E. And all you're doing to make this E minor tuning is you're tuning the A and D string up a whole step. So you're basically making like an E minor. But if you play your normal patterns, like lead patterns, let's say if you know scales in, uh, in the key of E, and you play them on the G, the B, and the E string, you can play a lot of your normal patterns just by holding out those notes and then playing your scale patterns in like E minor. So it gets you used to playing in an open tuning and maybe you start, um, you know, learning this pattern and then moving on to open E major or open D major. It just helps you get used to those uh, changes, you know, because really the challenge with open tunings is not that it's more difficult to play it. They're actually easier to play than standard tuning in a lot of ways, especially with the slide. But the challenge is memorizing new patterns on the fretboards. And I think that's what intimidates some people at first. But it's really easy if you just go step by step and you know you're only moving maybe one or two strings, sometimes three. But it's not that difficult if you conceptualize it in the right way. Well, since you've gotten this far in the lesson, I'm uh, assuming that you're enjoying it. So uh, please hit the subscribe button while you're here to get more of my content and uh, helps us build the channel, helps us put out more of this stuff for you. But for now, let's keep going. Okay, so we've covered five different open tunings. And so the next five tunings I wanna give you are tunings that I use a lot when I'm thinking about it like it's, it's a hybrid of an open tuning and standard tuning. Because a lot of times when I play slide, I'm still fretting a lot of notes. The slide's on my finger. And then when I want to play slide, I still have partial open tunings that I can use really convenient patterns for. And um, I'll give you an example. One of my favorite hybrid tunings that I use is basically it's a hybrid between open G tuning and standard tuning. So on the bass strings, it's basically open G. And then on the higher pitch strings, the unwound strings, it's basically standard tuning. So uh, check it out. So again, this is not really a true open tuning because if I strummed all six strings, it would not really sound as good. But what's great about it is it's good because if I want to play slide, if I want to play those open G riffs that I know on those bass strings, I can play those. If I want to play some fretted riffs that I know in standard tuning, let's say in the key of G minor, I can run all of those riffs with my remaining fretting fingers. So you can see this is a really versatile tuning when you're playing both fretted and slide at the same time in the same song. And it especially works well if you're in the key of uh, G. But if you wanna change keys and you like this tuning, you can always move it up and down the fretboard using a capo. 
For example, let's say I want to take that uh, same tuning, but I want to play in the key of A minor. I'll put the capo on the second fret. Or let's say you want to do it in C. I'll move this up to the fifth fret and uh, let's do something in C major. So that's my favorite hybrid tuning. Now we're going to go into what um, basically called drop tunings and the most popular of which and it's great for slide guitar is drop D tuning. So the way I like to think about drop D tuning when I'm playing slide guitar is that I like to think about it like the three lowest pitch strings, like the bass strings, which is the low E, the A, and the D. I like to think about those being in open D tuning. You got a nice power chord, root, fifth root. And if I just played those three strings, you know, it sounds great with slide. But what's also cool about open D is now you have these tune these uh, strings that are higher pitched in standard tuning. So again, you can play fretted and slide and change between the two in a really versatile way. And it works especially well, of course, because it's in the key of D. Um, it works really well when you're in the key of D. So let me like if I fret a D minor chord, for example, up here. And then I strum all six strings. It sounds really full and really lush. So let me give you an example playing. The next uh, drop tuning that I'm going to show you is drop G. So, you know, like before with drop D, we basically took uh, standard tuning and we took one string down to a D. In this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with standard tuning, but I'm going to tune that A string down to a G. So what I love about this tuning, as simple as it is, you're only really taking standard tuning, you're changing one string. That A string, you're tuning down to a G. But essentially, the middle four strings are in open G tuning. You got that G, D, G, B. And so let's say you only played those middle four strings, you could play like you're in open G tuning.
But what's also great is that other than that A string, you're essentially still in standard tuning. So if you're used to standard tuning, like most guitar players are, I think if they're used to playing fretted and they're just starting to learn slide, you don't really have to change a lot of the patterns that you've already gotten used to on the fretboard. So, you know, if you're playing, uh, let's say you just hit that G bass note, you can play uh, fretted, uh, all of the stuff you would play, let's say in G major. And what's also nice is that that low E is the relative minor to G. So, you know, if you go from like a G major, and then you hit that low E, it's still in the same key. Back to the G. To the E. And when it comes to playing chords on the slide, this is a really versatile tuning because you can play open G style, like G major chords, um, by really playing mainly those middle four strings. And play other major chords in that key, like C and D. But then you can also do minor chords by really accenting the, the low string, that low E, combined with some of those other strings. So like A minor, B minor, and C major using the middle four strings, D, and then E minor, G major open. So you can do like complete major chords and minor chords on the slide with what the one finger and uh, just a really versatile tuning and you still get most of your patterns from standard tuning. So it's one of the most versatile tunings you can play if you're used to standard but you want to start learning some slide riffs and I've really never heard anyone use it. So, uh, you know, I, I made it up because it worked for me with a lot of different songs, but it's the one I probably use the most when I'm accompanying other people uh, and they're playing a lot of different chords and I just want to follow them without having to think too much about it. So the next drop tuning I'm going to teach you is, it's basically, I call it drop high D. So it's a drop D tuning. But instead of dropping the low E string down to a D, you're dropping the high E string down to a high D. Just like the other hybrid tunings and drop tunings we learned, the whole point of this tuning is that you can play fretted notes easily in standard tuning on most of the fretboard, but then when it comes to playing the slide, you have some really convenient chord fragments and voicings that are good for the slide. And again, this is basically, you can think about it as that like the bass strings this time are in standard tuning but the higher strings, like the higher pitch strings, the unwound ones, are in open G tuning. So, um, you know, you have standard down here, like E, A, D, G, B, but you can think about like the D, G, B, D are all open G tuning. And I really like this one, especially if I'm accompanying someone else who's playing and um, I wanna throw in some open G riffs or like some country or lap steel style riffs. And um, I still wanna be able to accompany them with like bass, uh, bass notes, bass lines and rhythm guitar.
So you can see that one allows me to do all of those low bass lines. Which is great for accompanying another acoustic guitar player, but it still lets me do a lot of those really cool fills that sound like I'm in an open tuning. So it gives you the best of both worlds. Alright, so the last tuning I'm going to show you is a great tuning for slide guitar. It is very versatile, and you probably already know it. It's standard tuning. So the first couple years I played slide, I played only in standard tuning. I was a little hesitant at first uh, to, to learn open tunings. Again, like I said, because I think with a lot of guitarists who are comfortable with standard tuning, it's a little intimidating sometimes to have to learn new patterns and try to think about the guitar and your muscle memory in a new way. And there's a lot you can do with standard tuning with slide guitar. There's a couple challenges, which, um, you know, for one, it, you know, you don't have the safety net of a bunch of open strings and a bunch of harmonious strings together that help you sound good when you're playing slide. For example, if you play, you know, open tuning riffs in standard tuning, it just, it's a big mess. If you hit too many strings at the same time, it's almost always going to sound bad. But if you learn how to mute, mute with your right hand, and by mute, I mean you know, if you're playing, let's say, one string, you're using your right hand and your left hand to try to choke or mute all of the strings that you don't want to sound, then you can play really articulate, really good stuff in standard tuning, and you're still using all the patterns that you're probably already familiar with from playing fretted style. So for example, you know, if I'm in the key of E, I still have some good chord fragments, like let's say up here, on the seventh fret here, you've got the D, G, and B. That's like an E major uh, chord fragment. You've got the, uh, so let's say, seventh fret. You've got the low E and the A string. That's a chord fragment for E. And if you combine these things together, you can almost sound like you're in an open tuning, even when you're in standard. The reason that sounds clean though is because there's so much muting going on and that's one of the biggest challenges with playing in standard tuning is that if it is not what you want to play you basically have to mute it and I usually mute most of it with my right hand but I'm also muting some of it with my left hand. So let me give you a, a little bit more of a close-up musical example here in standard. So as you can see, even though slide playing is a lot easier when you're playing open tunings or um, hybrid tunings or drop tunings that are like partially open, you can still do a lot in standard tuning. And it has the advantage that most people know it really well who are comfortable playing fretted guitar. So those are my top 10 favorite tunings for slide guitar. Those are the ones I use probably 99% of the time. And I wanted to share them with you. And this is really just a very cursory introduction to both open tunings, drop tunings, and I've hardly gone into any technique and actually how to play this. 
If you want to dive into the technique on how to play a lot of these open tunings, how to play the slide, how to mute the strings, um, then I, I encourage you to check out some of my more in-depth video courses that I have available at my store. I've got links to them here in the description on this video. You can check them out. And um, they really dive into the in-depth detail on how to take these tunings, learn how to play songs on them, learn how to practice with them, learn how to mute, and um, learn how to basically avoid a lot of the pitfalls that come when you start playing slide without really knowing much about the proper technique on how to approach it. But again, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, see you next time. Thanks.